Hi, this is Mike Falco's Flips. Welcome to the video. This video is all about me going out there trying to source stuff from charity shops, car boot sales, Facebook Marketplace, anywhere else I can get it. Selling it on eBay for a profit. That's what I'm all about. That's what I've been doing. I do it part time. I'm based in Northwest England and uh, right now we're on lockdown still here in Northwest England, which will be lifted next week. Uh, the footage you're about to see is from a few weeks back when the shops were open and it's just a general kind of week through the week through like monday to friday of uh go to charity shops and what i picked up so let's get on with it Okay, so nothing in the first one today. Let's go on to the second one. Afternoon. Okay, so a couple of bits in there and I'll show you them in a little bit once I've been to the last one for this afternoon and yeah, I don't think I got it on film because I, I kind of given up, didn't think I was going to get anything and on the way out I saw a few bits so I'll show you in a few minutes but let's get to the next one first. Okay, so just outside the third one now so let's go in and see what we can find. Alright guys, so I'm going to be really quick today because I need to get back to work. I've got a couple of things. From the first shop, I got some of this. Um, Argan oil. I've got five of them. And I got a few things, so she kind of did the price a bit less. I reckon I've got about 60p into each one of them. Uh, they don't sell for massive money, but I'll probably stick them all together as a five and sell them for, I don't know, uh, 20, 25, something like that. So that'll do. I got some uh, John Freda. What is this? Detox and repair, something or other. One of them and a shampoo as well. Um, again, I probably paid about 60p each. Um, again, not masses of money, but they do go for fairly decent money. This all come from the shop that I got all the baby stuff from. And then some of you are going to think I'm mad in a second. Uh, this one seems all right though, two pounds. This should go for around 20, I reckon, maybe a bit more. There's not many of them out there. One of them sold for 22 pounds, free posted recently in the UK. It seems like it might be more of a an abroad thing, this. It seems to be some outside of the UK. Okay, uh, so the last pickup today, and it's an odd one. I know it's an odd one. And, you know, is the money to be made? I hope so. But <laughs> you'll see what I mean. Reptus Dominus. Yeah. Odd. Right, very quickly, I need to go. Um, tiny Tears. I don't think it's a Tiny Tears. It's got a Tiny Tears outfit on. Pretty sure it's not one. But it's an old doll. I reckon it's 60s, maybe 70s, latest. And it does have a little mark in here on the back. It says something England. You can see right here, I don't know if it's picking it up on the camera. 
but something England no idea I'm sure I can figure it out and I'm going to have a look later but it's something England it obviously had like a voice box originally it doesn't work anymore but I got it it was five quid which I know is paying up um, I know that certain dolls certain dolls do go for pretty good money and somebody was selling just like an outfit like this for about 20 25 quid so if the doll's not worth anything i'm sure the outfit will at least get my money back hey guys so i'm not going to take you in today because i took you in yesterday so i'm going to go to the first one and i'll let you know if i get anything good hey guys i've got to be quick i'm gonna literally melt in here it's really hot i can't have the windows open because you can hear the traffic there's a busy road just in front of me here and you want me to hear a thing i was saying so i'm going to be very quick so i'm into three charity shops and here is what i have got uh, from the first one i found two big bags of toys uh, one's better than the other uh, but we got things like uh, we've got some vintage uh, fireman sam thomas the tank um a few interesting looking other vehicles which are, are, I reckon might have a bit of value um, but the one I saw was this 1989 Batman Ertl uh, Batmobile it's not in you know excellent condition but people selling them for at least 10 so the bag was four so that brings my money back and then some and then everything else in there is profit um, there's a few decent bits. I've had better bags before to be honest, but it, it will do. I've got this one. This was only £2.50. This The stuff in here is not as good, but it's mainly Star Wars. Uh, nothing particularly old Star Wars wise, but there's a few half decent looking bits. There's a few other bits as well. It's not just Star Wars. Um, but yeah I'll, I'll probably bundle it as a big bundle and sell it for i don't know I obviously i have to have a quick look into some of these pieces but uh, i mean this figure here is 1999 so 20 years old obviously not the original ones but there might be a bit of money in that right uh, so that was everything from the first one from the second one i didn't get anything from the third one so everything else i've got is from the second one uh, we've got these motorcycle gloves they're one pound fifty uh, prices are all over the place but people some people seem to be getting like 50 or 60 quid for some of them probably not these ones but at least 20 i reckon on these so that'll do that'll do nicely uh, i've not found a decent mug in ages and uh, we've got one here walt disney pretty decent design from fantasia i believe I said that really weirdly from Fantasia 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 it's a bit it's not marked it's just a bit dirty and he's a good clean so there's that and then pick up of the day hopefully taking a, a bit of a chance on this as I do so the same store I got all the baby stuff and all the DVD and book sets the uh, great courses ones I think they're called I got all of these we have reusable cake tin liners now the various sizes seven inch eight inch i think there's a six or maybe it's just seven and eight not sure but i have lots here without counting them maybe 200 maybe more paid five pounds for the lot uh, they weren't after a lot for them individually anyway but i said you know give me let me know how much you want for the lot and i'll take them so yep five quid now people are selling like a pack of two for about 6.99 free postage i need to do a little bit of research into it though i don't know whether you know i don't know how these compare to them are they as good it says the dishwasher safe freezer safe microwave safe and oven safe which is great this kind of stuff just generally speaking this reusable stuff whether it be like storage bags food freezer bags um 
anything like this really like the silicone kind of based stuff that you can put in the oven and the freezer and the microwave and everything and just reuse it reuse it uh, these are really popular i'm finding and i mean we we've started using this kind of thing ourselves so rather than you know plastic bags and cling film and that we still do use them but we try and use this kind of thing we've got like storage bags of food and stuff um, that you can just wash and reuse yeah so that will hopefully be the pick of the day obviously it's a little bit of a risk but it was only five pounds um if i can get anything like and you know, if i can get like five pounds for two the postage on these would be like 88p um they would go as a large letter and there's like no weight to them at all if i could get anything like that then we'd be doing great like if i can make two pounds for every time i sell them um we'll be making into the hundreds i hope so yeah that would that would be fantastic but i need to look into that i wouldn't recommend you go out and you know buy all these i have no idea how much they are usually in the shops um for all i know they might only be like 50p yep so i need to get back to work so that's it for now and i'll see you a bit later on or tomorrow or my tomorrow to me Hi guys, so it's Wednesday, so let's go and have a look, see what we can find today. Uh, here we go for the first one. Okay, so charity shop number three coming up. I got a couple of little bits from the last one. I'll show you them in a minute, but let's go in here first and see what we can find. Hey guys, so yep, just been to the third one for today and got some half decent stuff I'll show you. And we'll do the stuff from the second charity shop first. Didn't get anything from the first one today. So from the second one, we got a set of four of these cups and this kind of salt and pepper matching thing. Uh, it's definitely vintage, made in England, Twinco, which I've not heard of. It's kind of a Tupperware-y type brand, though. It kind of comes apart like that. Not masses of money, but I got them for really cheap. Uh, I think I, I pretty much paid for these about 25p for the for the set. So there's four, there's four of these. Uh, one's still in the bag with some other things in it. So... And then you might have seen me rummaging in the totes 
or tubs and I got a few toys. I've had some pretty good stuff out of that particular charity shop before in those tubs. So I don't know where they're getting all the random little toys from, but I find stuff there that I, I don't find anywhere else. Um, not so much these. I mean, these are okay, but I've, I've found, I can't think what it's called, this uh, like 60s big headed um, toy with, with like a pull string and it was still working. Um, I got about 40 or 50 pounds for that and I paid like 10p for it. So that was good. That was a while back. But I found other things like Imagine X. I found Hot Wheels, uh, monster trucks, which are worth a decent amount. And I got like, um, so I also like to get things like this from wherever I can if they're cheap enough. Like dice, spare dice, always come in handy with board games because you get the occasional one with a missing dice. Or you've got games that have multiple dice per game. So good to keep and also good to sell if you get a load of them um, cheap enough to sell them all off. And then I got these uh, little toys. There's a couple that like are elect electrical. I'm guessing they crawl maybe or make a noise. Not sure. Um, didn't really get. I just got those two to make up the bundle. Well, what's going to be the bundle with the better stuff. And um, so these, so that's those two. And then we've got these ones, which I'm not sure what they are, but the Vintage 94, uh, they're the same brand. This one, this one, and uh, this one's actually LGT, which I believe is who makes the uh, Puppies in My Pocket toys. Could be wrong. No, that's Meg. LGT 1991 anyway 1991 vintage L LGT um, and also a 1984 cabbage patch toy so I will probably list all these toys together as a vintage kind of lot and I don't know 15 20 quid maybe maybe a bit more they owe me about like 50p or something so that's okay well let's move on to what we got from i've got toys everywhere um okay uh, so this is what we got today we got this from this is from the third shop uh, my first scale electrics not masses of money in this but for only three pounds it's worth a go um these don't always work, these scale electrics. There's issues with the track sometimes and there's issues with the cars and, but even, I've had the odd one before where I've just sold like the parts off and then they've eventually sold. So for three quid, definitely worth trying. And again, if it doesn't work, I can take it back. But even if you were a car boot sale or garage sale for three quid, it's worth, it's, you know, it's worth it anyway, even if it, even if it doesn't work. You, know, you can sell the cars separately, just sell them as untested. Um, and you can sell bits of track or the accessories you usually get or the sticker packs. There's all sorts of stuff you could potentially part out and do well with. Uh, so I got this for myself. It's just an Alien Legacy collection, four films. So that's all right. That was a pound, I think. I got this for five. Only Fools and Horses, the complete series. Some people are managing to get like 25 quid for them. Um, but some are only getting like 8 to 10 quid. So I will hold out for 20, 25 quid. And, and it should sell at Christmas, I reckon. And also for me, why not? Um, Rocky 5-disc set, special edition... I've been looking for the Rocky films for a while and I thought, yep, they're all here, all in one set, great. Well, I said they're all here, they're not all here, I don't think, but we've got, it's a 25th anniversary special edition, so I guess it's got all, it's got the original films, all the original films, I believe. Last but not least, I won't show you it all because there's loads of bits, but it's this Matchbox, you probably saw it in the video, in, you probably saw it in the video, uh, this Matchbox set. I've seen this out and about before and I've not picked it up but I had a look and if you've got 
a few bits, a few different bits. So I've got this, I've got like the like the rocket bit of the spacecraft. I've got like this little alien spacecraft. There's a figure in this, there's a figure in, in this one. Uh, and then there's a few kind of little bits as well and like some kind of like platform thing there. And there's also this as well, which um it's looking at people selling and they don't often have this so i don't know if that adds much value to it but you know all together is a lot i paid what did i pay five was it five or six pounds for for it all and i reckon i'll get 30 high at top end 40 for it get some good photos clean it up a little bit although it doesn't do much um it's only from like 2008 so it's not like vintage or anything but I'll give it a go and we'll see. And that's it. I think that's it for today. Oh, no, I did get one more thing. And the last thing was a bottle of this for 49p. I usually spend about a pound on the small bottles. And this is, uh, in fact, that's what I usually get for a pound. 100 milliliters. 250 milliliters for... 49p so bargain bargain you gotta love a hand sanitizer bargain i'll just mention one thing that i bought i've not got them here they're at home but i got a selection of ink cartridges from somebody local to me on facebook marketplace uh, they only wanted 10 pounds for about 20 to 30 ink cartridges uh, about only about 25% of them are proper official ones, like Canon, Canon ones, but they're all new sealed. Um, and then the other, the others are like a, you know a third party ink, but again, all new sealed. So they should have some value. I mean, I've scanned in a few of the Canon ones, and they're worth anywhere between five and twelve quid. So yeah, I mean, for a ten pound purchase, can't ask more. They're, they're going to do quite well, I think. So I don't really buy much on Facebook. I, I do take a look now and again. Uh, during lockdown, I was on it all the time, trying to find some stuff. Um, you know, charity shops were closed, car boot sales weren't on. So that's how I was trying to get a bit of stuff. And I then, since then, since all the shops reopened and the car boot and everything, I've kind of stopped. Hey guys, so I'm outside the second shop and I've got a couple of bits, nothing much today. We have, from the first shop we have this guy um, these singing hamsters some of them are worth a bit of money some of them not so much this one still has its tag it's um, not one of the more expensive ones but it should go for about 10 to 15 and I paid £1.50 for it so it's working and everything. We've got this, Fisher Price, Baby Bath. That was four pounds. And they, well, they sell new for about 50, so. And there's a couple on there that have sold for about 20 to 30 second hand. Uh, this is in excellent condition, so I'll probably aim for like 30 plus postage. So four pounds into 30, not too bad at all. And then randomly, I won't get the whole thing out because I've packaged it up in some packing paper but it's like a kind of like a Loch Ness thing so you get two of them a tail and let's see if I can find the head two of them the tail and the head I'm guessing it's supposed to be Loch Ness, the Loch Ness Monster, but I don't really know. I could only find one that had ever sold. They were missing a bit of the body, and they still managed to get about £13 plus uh, like £15 postage from America or from the UK to America. I'm not sure which way around it was. But, so yeah, for, so I paid £3.00. It's a rare thing. It's maybe a nice thing for for Christmas. Uh, the person who sold this 
put it as like fairy garden so that's how they were kind of trying to sell it as a like a fairy garden outside kind of thing I've never known a fairy garden have a Loch Ness monster before but you know whatever I suppose it'll be a very unique fairy garden I've never said fairy garden as much in my life so yeah that's it just those three items today I tell a lie I did get a fourth item which was some de-icer yeah it was £1.20 it was a big one now here, here where I live, you only get like, you probably get like two weeks of really nice weather a year and two weeks of really cold weather a year and the rest of the time it's just kind of like middle of the ground, um, generally dull, raining, not much sun, that's how the weather is here which is a good thing I guess, right? We don't have any extreme weather conditions here. But uh, for those two weeks of the year where I might need some de-icer, I now have it. And it's such a big thing, I will probably it'll probably last me for 10 years. So, for £1.20 over the space of 10 years, can't go wrong. So I'm guessing I can't get away with playing this guy without like copyright strike or something. But let's give it a go anyway. That is pretty annoying. Pretty damn annoying. I mean, surely that wouldn't get copyright striked, right? You can't tell what the hell it's saying. When well, we used to have the Kung Fu one, it had a little like nunchuck and it'd spin it around while singing Kung Fu fighting. That was annoying. This might be worse. Hey guys, so there we go. I hope that was okay. Um, we have some more videos coming very soon, so come back soon. Like and subscribe if you've not done already, and I will see you in the next one.